on page 31 and we're going to do the creditors list on the 31st of July so we've got three creditors droop shops green wholesalers and Kumalu traders each one with a number creditor one two and three these amounts we get from the creditors ledger and the specific accounts at the end of the month okay so if we have a look um, at the end of the month uh, for for droop traders we see he owes we owe them 45,000 and you will see the 45,000 right at the bottom here that we owe them okay and then we've got green wholesalers green wholesalers at the end of the month we owe 28,960 um, and we just write that amount in the in the list of creditors and they said 28,960 and the third creditor is Kumalo Traders and we don't owe Kumalo Traders anything but we still show it because it was Kumalo Traders was shown in the previous month we need to show that the creditor and uh, that uh, became zero now so we owe him nothing okay if we add the three of them together we get 73,960 and it must be the same balance as the creditors control account at the end of the month and you will see that 73,960 correlates with the creditors control account of 73,960 so we are saying that we owe all creditors 73,960 in the creditors control account and in the creditors list we just specify to which how that 73,960 will be divided between the different creditors.